in this poem which reads like a piece of memory etched deep in the poet's heart the poet praises the beauty of the daffodils which leaves a lasting impression on him the poem is divided into four stanzas the poem deals with the subject of nature and memory which were close to the hearts of all the romantic poets the style of poetic expression as well as diction implied by wordsworth is easy and uncomplicated the four six line stanzas of the poem follow a quatrain couplet rhyme scheme each line is metered in iambic tetrameter in this poem the poet tells us what he observed and experienced while walking through the hills and valleys one day when he was alone suddenly he passed a lake he noticed a cluster of yellow daffodils waving in the breeze this wasn't just an isolated or scattered patch of daffodils there were thousands and thousands of them that he saw dancing in the breeze the speaker's loneliness was replaced by the sheer joy of seeing this lovely spectacle and its impact was strong enough to become a piece of memory that he would love to recall in future as a great gift of nature now whenever he feels depressed he just thinks of the daffodils and his heart finds back the joy of living the poem starts with the poet's description of himself as a cloud that floats over the hills this presents an idea of seclusion the idea of being alone is contradicted by the phrase crowd in line number 3 this is actually the setting of the poem as human form wordsworth prefers seclusion but the crowd of daffodils bewilders his senses the feeling of ecstasy suddenly makes a die the plot is extremely simple depicting the poet's wandering and his discovery of a field of daffodils by a lake the memory of which pleases him and comforts him when he is lonely bored or restless the characterization of the sudden occurrence of a memory the daffodils flash upon the inward eye which is the bliss of solitude is psychologically acute but the poem's main brilliance lies in the reverse personification of its early stanzas the speaker is metaphorically compared to a natural object a cloud as comprehended by i wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high and the daffodils are continually personified as human beings dancing and tossing their heads in a crowd a host this technique implies an inherent unity between men and nature making it one of wordsworth's most basic and effective methods for instilling in the reader the feeling the poet so often describe himself as experiencing nature permeates the entire poem phrases like a crowd a host continues as the stars they stretched in never ending lines 10000 saw i at a glance present 
deep implications of nature's extensiveness. Daffodils, an everyday found flowers, has been portrayed in magical verses and blended with transcendental romanticism that leaves an everlasting mark in the minds of the readers of this poem.